What is up, all my beautiful dolly friends? I'm Dr. Doll, and welcome to another video. So I have kind of a special, unique video for you guys tonight. Um, everyone likes a good haul video, right? So this is going to be a wig haul, um, and not just any wig haul. This is a specifically a Monique wig haul, um, and the story behind it is really interesting. So, um, those of you who watched my, uh, thrown in the trash doll series, um, you remember that I used a, it was a Monique wig for Lady Antonia. Um, and I had mentioned that they, Monique wigs, um, the company no longer exists, but you can still find their wigs. You can still purchase them. There's still lots of like retailers that have plenty of stock that they sell, um, and I've really been kind of into them lately in a weird way. Um, I think just because they're like, they're sort of like a remnant of time gone by. Like, um, they're just, they're, they're kind of what I would consider like older style wigs. Um, and some of them are really, really cool and really, really good. And some of them are like, mm, not very good. And you'll kind of see what I mean by when I show you some of these. So the story behind this box is, um, I saw a posting on a doll buy sell group. Um, so it's basically this, this man runs a business sort of like, um, you know, the show storage wars where he like purchases, um, storage containers that are up for sale that people have like abandoned or um, defaulted their payment on. And so he bought a storage container that was filled with doll stuff and a lot of like doll wigs. And so he was trying to sell them and it was just, it was super interesting. So there was a huge collection of Monique wigs in this storage container. And, uh, I wanted to buy a lot more than I did, but I ran out of money. So <laughs> I was like, well, can I at least purchase all of your Monique 10 to 11 inch? Cause that's the American girl doll size. Um, and he said he threw some freebies in there too, which is super nice, but I started to open it. And then I was like, wait, this would make a really great video. Like I'm sure you guys might find this interesting. So this is a Monique wig haul um and monique uh, monique wigs are all retired so all of these wigs are you can still find them like i said but they are no longer being made and i have my lovely laney head here to um try some of them on for us so um let's start i see a bag of i'm guessing these are the freebies he had mentioned so, I don't know what this is. This is a, that is a tiny, oh my gosh, look how tiny that wig cap is. It, it's almost like, like a little doily. Um, global dolls. Huh. Global doll wigs. Okay. Okay. That is not, I mean, I guess, okay, yeah, I guess. It definitely doesn't cover up the old glue lines, but um, I guess it technically fits. It more just sets on top of the head. So that's, that's a thing. Um, that must be one of the freebies that he mentioned. He's very nice, very kind to work with. Um, these are others that I'm not sure what they are. This is a, the wig cap looks at least like a proper wig cap. I don't know what brand it is. The tag is cut off. Um, it just looks like a little like red auburn bob. Okay, cute cute. Definitely can use that. Um, and there's a lot of wigs, so I'm going to try and go fast. 
Um, oh, okay, this is an actual Monique wig. This is the Renee style in dark brown. And you'll kind of know what I mean when I say they're like old style, older style. Okay, where's the front of this wig? Where's the, where's the front? There's no, there's no indicator. Okay, this has got to be it. This has got to be the front. Um, I don't know if like porcelain dolls was their primary like target market, but I don't think that, I don't think American Girl dolls were like necessarily what Monique wigs were designed for. Although they definitely, if you get the right size, they can fit on. Okay, well that one's, that one's kind of interesting. So this one could be, um, so what on earth is going on? Okay, so it's short all the way around and then there's like this weird top knot of curls. I'm not sure what I think of that. The Renee style. Um... Interesting. All right, let's keep going. What's this? Um, oh, the Gibson. Okay. So I've seen this. This is supposed to be like reminiscent of a Gibson girl look. Um, okay, so does the tag go in the front? I, you would think the tag goes in the back, but I feel like for these wigs. Okay, so you can see, yeah, so definitely a Gibson girl look. Um, if you're doing like a historical, like Victorian style doll, this would be a really cute, perfect wig. So you see what I mean? It's not, they're not like modern, trendy, cute. They're, they're old fashioned. Um, but some of them are really, really unique and really excellent for doing historical dolls. And the fact that they're no longer being made kind of intrigues me. So this looks like the BB or the Bebe. Bebe. I don't know. It's spelled B-E-B-E. -E, Bebe. Wig. Um, I see it a lot. And it's sort of just a short little like man wig. Maybe this isn't, but yeah, it's just a short little, like, um, boy cut, basically. Okay, so those were the freebies he had mentioned. Oh, I think there's some more freebies. Hold on. This looks like a blonde. Another blonde bob, similar to the ginger one. This is the Debbie wig. It is a Monique wig. Debbie. Debbie wig. Reminds me of the one of Zazu's wigs that's it's like has a bob with the bangs. Um, although Zazu's is a little bit longer which makes it it gives it a more modern look. Um, but these are cute. I'll definitely use these. Okay. Here's another wig. I don't know what brand it is. It's got some really tight little pin curls. What is going on? Okay, so it's basically, it's such a tiny little cap. Is that really for an 18 inch doll? And then, so it's so weird because it's like most of the wig is short. And then there's like these tiny little curls that are pinned on. So it's like, it's kind of just like, there's only one style you can do with a wig like this. You know, you can't really play with the hair, which, and this does not even, this looks like it doesn't even fit. I don't even think this fits. Very interesting look. Um, not really my thing. I like hair that you know, you can do different things with it, not just one style. I mean, some historical wigs, I guess that's nice, but 
Okay, so I should say that when you buy a Monique wig, they if if you get them like new, they will come in a wig box, um, which is kind of cool because wigs don't usually come in wig boxes anymore. Um, so you can see that there are tons of wig boxes in here. So let's just go through them, shall we? So this is the Marie. 1112 Marie wig. Some of these I've seen before and and but I would say most of them I've only seen pictures of or I've never seen before. Okay, this one's kind of pretty. It's like there's no part. It just goes straight back into these curls, but that's kind of pretty. It's definitely a look. Um, and you could like even do a pin like a little pretty barrette or something there. It's definitely a look. I think that's kind of cute. That's the Marie. I wonder if they named these wigs after like historical characters or after like people they that worked there. I don't know. It's interesting to think about. Okay, so we're going to set the ones we've looked at to the side. Next, Trina in the color Auburn. Trina. Okay, Trina kind of looks more like a baby doll wig. Um, and some of Monique's wigs, I think, would look cute on a baby doll, like a bitty baby or something like that, um, or a toddler doll. But this one wouldn't be big enough for... A bitty baby. It's sort of a, it's not staying on very well, but it's, it's sort of like a little orphaning any look. It's not, not fitting very well. Not my favorite. Um, I might use it on a baby doll one day. If I find a baby doll that has a 10, 11 size head. Um, so many wigs. I got a really great deal on them. So, and he was very, very nice to work with. This is the Megan wig. Okay. I have seen this used on baby dolls. This particular, it's very, very cute on baby dolls. Um, let's see what it looks like on an American girl though. Okay, so I guess it's supposed to be a side part. A lot of these wig caps are strange. Maybe they're just old, but their elasticity isn't very good. This is cute, actually. I would definitely use this on an American Girl. I think it's, it's cute. It has a very retro vintage vibe. Very cute. I'm gonna have to use that one. That's the Megan in blonde. Uh-oh. Where'd my wig, where'd my hairnet go? Oh no. Figure it out later. The packaging is very, very nice. I mean, you can tell it's old. It's kind of beat up a little bit, but imagine brand new, you know, it's, it's a very nice box. It's labeled very well. It says Monique. And then you open it up the wig is wrapped in paper that says Monique. It's supposed to have a hairnet, and then it also has this very fancy schmancy tag attached to it. Um, so they definitely have a nice presentation. Um, okay, what's this one? Very curly. It's a Heather. Heather wig. Very curly. Cute. Again, this would be cute on a baby doll or a toddler doll. Okay, this one actually has a front. So that's that's good to know. It's got like a little top knot or something. Okay, it's kind of cute. 
<laughs> it's definitely a different look than what I'm used to for the AG dolls. Um, but I, I won't say that I would never use it. Um, it's definitely like a specific look. And I think it'd be really, really cute on a baby doll. But um, I might use it on an AG doll. We'll see. We'll see. You never know. There's a lot of different styles out there. Cute wig, though. I like the wig itself. I just don't know that I love it on an American Girl doll. And he had other sizes, but like I said, I ran out of money. Um, I would have bought more. This is the China doll. That's the name of it, is China doll. I don't know what that is supposed to mean. Is that, does that mean it goes on a China doll, or does that mean it? it's supposed to look like Oriental? Um, okay, it's very straight. It kind of reminds me of the wig that's on the number four, except for it's much thinner. Much thinner. Like, honestly, I would be kind of disappointed if I got a doll that had a wig this thin. At least a doll that was meant for play. Maybe a display-only doll, it would be fine. Um... So that's the thing about these Monique wigs, is they're very hit and miss. Some of them are just fantastic, and then some of them I'm mm, just... Okay, well, it looks very nice. It looks very nice, really. It, it just looks like a... It is a little on the thin side, though. So, maybe for a display-only doll. But, other than that, it seems very nice. Okay. Moving onward. This is a little bit different box. Harmony. Okay. Again, a very curly wig here. And this one feels different. I think this is supposed to be textured hair. Wig cap seems very small. It's weird. The wig caps don't seem like uniform. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, and again, it's like, it's weird. It's like their tags are supposed to go in the front. Okay, it definitely doesn't cover the whole head. <laughs> what is going on? Look, at Look how small it is. Is that really a 1011? It says it is. That There's no way that's for a 1011 doll. It's so tiny and there's no stretch in it. Okay, well again, maybe for a cute little baby doll, this would be adorable. I don't know if I will use it on an AG doll though. I don't think it'll fit on an AG doll. Um, but maybe a cute little baby doll. I have to start buying TLC baby dolls now. I have all these cute little wigs that would look good on them. Um, I've got three boxes left. Okay, this is not Monique. This is called, this is a Global Dolls wig. Oh, it says California. I wonder if Global Dolls is still making wigs. <clears throat> this definitely looks old. Has this been used? I don't know. It doesn't look new. This looks, yeah, this looks like it's been used. Wait, is this mohair? Is this mohair? This is mohair. Okay, it, it's all making sense now. I'm not a fan of mohair. Um, got it. Got it. I mean, for a mohair wig, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Let's try it on. I'm just not a fan. It just, I don't know, it kind of just looks like, looks like a sweater that's been in the dryer too many times to me. Like, it's soft, yeah, but it kind of, 
smells weird and it just looks like a hot mess. The style, I love the style. It's beautiful. I wish it wasn't mohair though. <sighs> maybe I'll resell that one. <laughs> or maybe I'll keep it. I'll, I'll keep it for, there's going to be a composition doll in the future that needs a mohair wig and I'll regret getting rid of it. So we'll keep it. All right, two more, two more. We're on a roll. How am I doing on time? Not great. What is this? Oh, this is another Heather. Okay, so I did like the Heather wig. Um, I did like the Heather wig. This one is in the color Carrot. Oh my goodness, it's like, it's like a curly mullet. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> I kind of love it. <laughs> it's like a curly red mullet. Oh my goodness. Kind of love it though. That's great. Um, so interesting. Okay. These are such very, these are very like specific wigs. Um, last one. Here we go. This is Connie. We have not had a Connie yet in black. Um, Connie, Connie, Connie. It looks like there's braids. So, oh, and there's, there's like curly bangs. You see that? Okay. This could be cute. It could be a look like a Anne of Green Gables, but, but with black hair. This could be cute. Ow, come on now. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. I don't think the 1011 was, is one of the more popular sizes for the Monique wigs. Um, because they seem to be a little bit more difficult to find. Okay, this is cute. I like this. This is definitely for the right look, for the right outfit. That could be really cute. You see what I mean, though? They're so hit or miss. Like, even the wig cap sizes just are very different from from wig to wig. So it's very difficult to to know, like, if you're getting a winner or not. But um, very happy to have gotten this haul, and I'll, I'm sure that I'll use most all of these at some point. Um, but yeah, that was that was my Monique wig haul that I just got and wanted to share with you. So what do you guys think? Interesting, right? Do you like videos like this? Do you want to see more? Um, if you do, please comment and let me know. If you don't, also comment and let me know. Um, but yeah, I'll have to use those for some dollies, maybe in some upcoming videos. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.